is Monkey 1000 and today I got a recipe quick and easy it takes about maybe 10 minutes might take longer but um, it's just a candy kind of thing with peanut butter I'm gonna use peanut butter and I could only find these ones at the store so these are the ones I'm gonna use they're biscuits if you can find like um, I can't remember the name of them but they have other biscuits out there but I could not find them at Walmart. Butter so, biscuits. butter biscuits, yes, yes. I couldn't find them. I looked, but these were the best things that I could find. So we're using those, and we're gonna get this. Oh, and the chocolate is over there because I forgot. So, <laughs> but we're gonna put them all together, and <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. So I got Shea Bear helping me because the last time I did the chocolate thing, I didn't do very well with this. So I don't want to burn it this time. So he's going to help me a little bit and we'll have fun doing it. So I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm doing here. I got my Ninja here. I have never, haven't used this in so long. It's been a while. I used to do a lot of juicing, so I had it for that and then I stopped using it. So I have the tall one too, and the little one. So we're gonna move this Christmas tree because if I break that, my mother will hang me. So there we go. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. I unwrapped all the, the cookies. They were all individual in um, wrapping, like a, as I showed you, in a box. So I unwrapped them and we're gonna put them in, a, in here and we're gonna grind them up. See how well this thing works. It's been a while since I used this. And then we take this little doodad here. Huh? No. There. I have to snap it. And then there. And we're going to pulse it. Add a little bit more in there. Okay. Still works good for a golden Yeah. Tell them how old it is. It is what? What did I say? Well, I've been here almost seven years. Seven years. Yeah, almost seven years in this house, and I had it probably two years up there, so I'd say it's about nine, nine years old. So I've had it a while, and I haven't juiced in so long. It's you know, so but and I forget that I have it, so it's not. This thing's slippery. See this? See this? Yeah. Gives them oh. <laughs> Alright. See what I mean? It's been a while since I bought that. This. Take it off and add some more. It's a pain to get on and off, though. Yeah. Well, it all came together. I think I paid maybe 65 bucks for the whole thing. I got this, and then I got a bigger one, too. So I did my juicing in the bigger one mostly, so. I only use this when I used it for recipes for nuts and stuff. Okay, I only got a few more cookies to put in here. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. And they had it six years ago when they were I know. Well, I had it put away. It was in my mom, in my spare room in the closet, and I had it all packed up. And then, um, you know, and then, then when she came, I had to make some more room. And so I had it, I think I had it out here for a while, sitting here. And then we got the kitchen done, and I got to unpack the Okay guys, I'm going to do this for a few more minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got it pulsed pretty good I think. And I'm going to take this off. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in the bowl. Oh, not enough. I have to do a few more minutes yet. Dang. There's still a cookie missing in there. It needs to be pulsed. Let's check it out and see if it's okay now. <laughs> see, when you pulse it, it lets it drop back down. Yeah. And if you don't pulse it, it just stays up on top. It doesn't really okay, see? Up. There you go. It's got it all cut up. I wanted to show you. And then we're going to put this in the bowl. Just dump it in there. And if you don't have one of these, you can also put them in a, um, a baggie. And... Um, a rolling pin and just start hitting them or roll it over real tight on top so you don't have to if you don't have one of these I was going to do it that way but then I thought oh I got that thing I bought a long time ago yeah so here we go okay I'm going to we're going to put some peanut butter in here and here we go. So it calls for one and one fourth uh, cup of peanut butter. Now it didn't say what kind, so I bought Peter Pan and I bought a creamy. I guess if you wanted it to be a little bit crunchy, you could use the crunchy kind if you like. Yeah, yeah. It's all up to you. Oh. I'm going to put it in here. Mmm, smells good. I love peanut butter. And I don't really use the crunchy because my mom, she has a hard time with crunchies. Nuts and stuff. So. What the way you bought me the cheap stuff and you bought yourself the good stuff? Just <laughs> <laughs> noticed that. It's what the store had, babe. Yeah, same store that I went to to get mine. You want me to save this for you? Too late now. I need the whole jar. Well, I'm going to use the whole jar too. <laughs> All right, so there's a cup. I'm going to just throw it in here. Yummy. Bruno's at my feet because he's just waiting for something to fall. Aren't you, Bruno? He loves food. He came to the right house with food, I'll tell you that. He likes to eat. And we're going to do one-fourth. So I'm going to put it in here. Make sure I got one-fourth in here. Oops. 
Okay. And then we just shove it in here. And the ball. He's underneath the camera, guys. He's got his tail just a wagon. He's just waiting for mommy to drop something. <laughs> okay, that's what we gotta need to put in here. And now you're just gonna mix it up as you can. Get rid of this so you guys can see. And we're just gonna mix it up. I'm going to mix this up and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I do next. Okay guys, so I've been working on this and I showed you the cookies I got so it wasn't enough. And it's late at night. It's almost, what, 11 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the stores are closed. So today we went to Walmart and I bought I bought these little cookies here, the butter cookies, and guess what? They are empty now because they're in here, and this was full. <laughs> so um, you need 300 grams of cookies to make sure. I only had what 24, <laughs> 29. <laughs> so. I thought one box would be enough, but you gotta have it like a like a play-doh. That's the way you want it. So it has a good consistency. And when I put my hands in there, it was like, oh my god, this is all peanut butter and no cookie. So yeah, watch Shaker's next video. <laughs> He's got it. Your face with <laughs> <laughs> He's making fun of me. So he's got it all on the camera, on the on the on the camera in the house. So he said he's going to make a video out of it. So, anyways, you'll have to go check it out. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing to death now. Okay. So you just want to get it really good, and and that's all the cookie I have. So that hopefully this is going to work. Because what you want to do is take a little bit. And you're just gonna roll it. That's all you're gonna do. Just roll it. And uh, kind of roll it a little bit. So it's there. Probably could use some more cookies still. Well. Yeah, but we'll make this work. So you can make them long or short. And then it says to put them on a pan. Just lay them up here on the on a cooling pan or whatever you want to call these things. Wire racks. So. I have two of them, hopefully. I just raised it a bit, so then um, I'll bring it around so you can see what I'm doing. Can you make any here. shape you want? Well, I guess you could. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do with these. But they, this is this is the way I saw it. So, and, <coughs> excuse me. And you just roll them. Just roll them. From 300 grams of cookies Yeah. To a cup and a quarter yeah. of peanut butter, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could just make them balls if you wanted to. Just make round balls. But, kind of, kind of shape them up. We'll do the best we can here for what we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, try to show you this. Here, let's see if you can see any more than that. There you go. So hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. Okay. And just roll them and put them up here. 
I just put a bowl underneath because I didn't want it on the sitting on the surface there on the stove, so you don't have to. They got little feet on them, so <clears throat> and that's all you're gonna do. And I'm gonna roll these out best I can. And then I'll come back after I get the rolling done. Now that's all you do is just roll them in your hands. And then put them on a, on a cookie wire rack. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Oh, this has been an experience. Okay, so you don't have to put them on these racks. You need to put them on a cookie sheet and... Um, I put some parchment paper down as you can see right here and what I did, I'll show you, I put them down all on here. I made mine a little bit longer than they're supposed to be but you can make them the way you want. I just kind of flatten them on each corner on the ends. But they don't go on the rack yet. No. So what you're going to do is you're going to cover them up. I don't have any saran wrap so I'm just going to put tin foil on top but try to use saran wrap. And um, you're going to put them in the freezer for five minutes, and then we're going to come back. So stay tuned. It's an adventure. Okay, guys. So what I've got now is I got them going. I got two more minutes of them being in the freezer, and then I'm going to bring them out. And I bought this from Walmart. Oh, no. Winn-Dixie. I bought this from Winn-Dixie. It makes it easier. You can put the chocolate in the microwave and then you can dip them. So I just did this to make life easy. Um, if you want to, you can buy the bars and melt them yourself. Um, but I didn't. So hopefully this will work out just as well. I figure it will. Um, yeah, If you can make it a little bit easier, then why not, right? So this timer is going to go off, so I'm going to go get them. And we're going to start putting these in the microwave, and Shaver's going to help me with the, the chocolate. So we'll get this going. I'll be right back. So we're going to melt the chocolate and get it going. Shaver's helping me with the chocolate part. Yeah, because last time didn't turn out too good. So we had to figure out why. And... I don't know. So, anyway, so we're going to melt the chocolate, and when we get the chocolate done, I did bring them out. I'll show you to you, to the, you guys right now. And they are out. This is what they're going to look like. Um, yeah, so they're just up. So, then when we get the chocolate melted, we'll, we'll come back. I hope you can see this. My watch went on me. So I'm bringing it over here a little bit closer so you can see. There you go. Now you're going to put them in the fr fridge for five minutes. And when we get back, I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so now I've got the chocolate melted. Thank you, Shea Bear, for your help. And we already oh, put these in the in the freezer for five minutes and that is done so now what we're going to do i got some parchment paper here and i put it onto the, the racks here I, i'm not going to use the bowl thing so i'm going to take one at a time off of here and i think you see and i'm going to dip it in the chocolate and just let it drizzle on it roll it around a little bit okay and then you're going to lift it up and just let it drip all that excess off of there. And then we're going to take it here and we're just going to lay it on our rack. Yeah, just like so. <clears throat> Do a little one here. And just put it on top. And let it drip. Okay. 
take all that excess off. Yeah, let's see. So, and then I'll just put it here. And we'll do it that way. So, I'm going to do all of these. And then when I'm finished, I will come back and show you all of them together. And we'll just let this one drip. Okay, so stay tuned. And, um, yeah, we'll see these almost done. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, guys, so we brought them back out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do, is try to squeeze the chocolate out of here. I put them in a baggie because I don't have a, um, you know, that one that you can squeeze. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to use it this way. And we're going to just drizzle it kind of on top as much as we can. You can just kind of make a design out of it. And just put some chocolate on top. You can use white chocolate for the top if you want. And kind of make it your own, do what you want. Or you can put <laughs> chocolate on top chocolate, so. Hopefully you can see the, what I'm doing here. Sorry. My arm's right in the way. And, uh, there we go. Let me squeeze it out. Let me just drizzle it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Believe me, these are far from perfect. But, who cares? Yeah, so they're going to go in your stomach and they look good. A little practice, I think, I would have, you know, got it right a little bit better. I think the next time I, if I do these again, I will use the um, white chocolate on top instead of chocolate on top. Okay, I'm not going to do them all because um, I'm running out and I don't want to open up the other one because the other one's for my other video. Uh, I did buy, I did buy some of these. I got some of these. I'll sprinkle stuff I wanted to put on top. If you're going to drizzle them, you drizzle all of them. And, um, you can put them back. You put them back in the fridge for five more minutes after you do the drizzling, and then you bring them out, and they're done. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to try to put some sprinkles on here. I thought it'd be pretty. I wanted colored ones, but it's hard to find them. Everybody's taking them, you know, for Christmas and stuff. So I thought, well, I'll just do this and see what it looks like. Yeah. There we go. I put a lot on here. Oh well. It's Christmas time. And then just put some on here and there we go. I'm gonna stick these back in the fridge for five more minutes. And then we'll bring it back up. Okay guys, so I brought them out, and uh, yeah, you can see some of them turned out not bad. I like this one. That one turned out really, really good. Um, I took him off the small one, and I used my cookie tin that I used up all the cookies in, so I put them in the fridge. Um, yeah, so the thing I'm seeing, the problem is, is getting them off the rack, because <laughs> now they want to break. So I probably wouldn't use the rack, and he did use the rack in his video, um, but 
he didn't show how he got him off the rack afterwards. So, yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with the racks. I just put a parchment paper, maybe spray it down with some um, um, Pam, and so it wouldn't stick. They don't stick so bad. But um, that's what I would do next time. But live and learn. You know, see what I mean? It's sticking. So, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'd probably do the next time. Not even, not even do it this way. So I'm kind of trying to poke them up so they don't break the best I can. My first ones that I put in the cookie tin, they, they, some of them broke in half. But it could be because I wait, I took them out and then I took them off the rack right away. Could be that. Because these seem to be a little bit better. So if you're going to use the rack, then I would suggest um, wait a few minutes before you take them off. And then try to get them off. But I really, honestly, I wouldn't use the racks. No. But y'all got the idea of what I was trying to do, I hope. And, uh, yeah, well, it's the first time I ever made them, so, you know... Trial and error, right? My family don't care what they look like. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I had to give them to somebody, I probably wouldn't give them these. I'd probably practice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But I think it would be a good idea for, for a gift if you've got neighbors or something and you, you know, want to give them something. This would be a good idea. It'd be fun. We had fun, didn't we, babe? It was fun. <laughs> we had fun. Yeah. So, yeah, see? They just don't want to come off now. That's why I don't think you really need the rack. I don't know why they, you know, see this one went under. This one's not too bad here. Let's put it up here. And, uh trying to get them off. One at a time here. Did you try to flip the rack over? Upside down? Yeah. We can try that. See what happens. Let's see they all stuck. Yeah. I think it'll just break them. Yeah. Yeah, I think the other way was a little bit better. But worth a try. Anything's sure. worth a try. You but like spatula? I spatula, I don't know. No, they're too hard for a spatula. Uh -uh, I don't think. See, they're just breaking. So I wouldn't I wouldn't use the racks. I really wouldn't. But you live and learn because some of these videos that you see out here, they look so easy. They look like, oh yeah, five minutes. First of all, it wasn't five minutes. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, if they're professional, if you've never done this before, it takes longer than five minutes. I mean, there's five minutes in the fridge and another five minutes in the fridge, so that's ten minutes right there. So it's not five minutes. So when somebody tells me it's going to be five minutes, it's going to be five minutes, you know, but it's not. So, you know. <coughs> but... Everybody likes peanut butter and chocolate. You know, I mean, I like this idea. I thought it was cool. Also, you know, it's the first time I made them, so, you know, you're going to make mistakes when you make things. You know, once you've done it for a long time, and then you find out what you can and cannot do. See how that one just broke in half here? So, well, that's okay. Mm. Very good, though. Mm. Yep. Yeah, you can have your kids help you too to make these. You know, be fun. You know, there's no oven involved. You can get your kids to help you mix it up and. Yeah, that way if they get mm -hmm. messed up, you can blame the kids. Yeah, right. You can tell the company all my kids made these. Yeah, right. Well, there's just the three of us, so. 
like you said, it's the first time we ever made them, so. Yeah, and that's exactly what I would do. I wouldn't use these. I put them on the pan. I spray some Pam or something like that on it, and um, I put them on there. That's exactly what I do. And I don't think they would break. Not like that. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I like making videos that I find videos on and find out they're not as good as they say they are. <laughs> because we all watch these videos and we think, oh my god, that's so cool, that's so easy. And then when you start doing it, it's not. So I'll put the ingredients under the description under below um, so you can do that. And um, yeah, I would not use racks. Nope. So that's it for now. Monkey says she's out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch Shea Bear's blooper he's got going on with me. So that should be interesting. <laughs> Sure, I'll put one at the end so y'all can see. Okay, guys? All right. So, that concludes this video, and I have another one coming right up. So, stay tuned. Mike says she's out. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm just not meant to cook or bake or anything. Not at all. Are they going in the oven? No. Technically, you're not even baking, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> what time does that clock say? I'm going to do this one too. What time does it say? 10.48. That was not great. Good thing I'm laughing, not crying. Oh my god. <laughs>